This video is about the Biquad antenna. It's a simple and inexpensive antenna to build and has good gain. If a reflector panel or reflector rods are used behind the loops, you can expect the antenna to have about 7.5 dBd of gain. Without a reflector panel or rods, you can expect reduced gain and a bidirectional pattern. This is a photo of a biquad antenna I built for 446 MHz from solid 12 gauge wire since it was going to be used indoors. In this photo, you see how the connections are made to the BNC connector. The midpoint between the top of the two loops is soldered to the center pin of the connector. The two free ends at the bottom side are soldered to the ground of the connector. These are the calculations you'll need to make the biquad for the design frequency you prefer. To figure out the loop length or the wavelength, divide 11811 by the frequency in megahertz to get the loop length or the wavelength in inches. If you want to use centimeters instead, multiply inches by 2.54. To get the length of one side of a loop, divide the loop length or the wavelength by 4. Since it requires two loops, multiply the total loop length by 2 and add a few inches extra of wire. If you do that for 446 megahertz, you get 26.48 inches or 67.25 centimeters. And the total length of the wire will be 52.96 inches or 134.52 centimeters. The length of a side will be 26.48 divided by 4, which equals 6.62 inches or 16.81 centimeters. Now I found to make uniform loops, cut a template the length of the side length of a loop from a thin piece of wood. I found that a paint stirrer works great. Use the template to bend your loops and cut off any extra you have left at the end. It may take some experimentation to get the antenna resonant in the section of the band uh, where you're planning on using it. I found it's usually fairly close, but it might require some shortening or lengthening of the calculated length. So use an SWR meter, an antenna analyzer, or a VNA to adjust your antenna if needed. Remember that if you want vertical polarization, the biquad antenna's longest length will be in the horizontal plane. If you want horizontal polarization, the biquad antenna's longest length will be in the vertical plane. This antenna is fairly easy and inexpensive to build and has good gain with or without a reflector panel or reflector rods. Have fun building this antenna design. Thanks for coming to the Radio Amateur channel. Like and subscribe. 73.